sharp edges and cleaned it up. I did the math on the circumference and I cut three quarters of an inch out so it would fit on the inside of this. And this is just going to act as a guide ring so that later on I can set the top on and weld it from the inside because the refractory mix is going to be around the outside. Now that's how to remove paint. This was blue last night, huh? Oh, look at that. There's the burn chamber, baby. I got a little metal sliver, babe. A little teeny thing. Do you need to go get tweezers? No, I got it. I can see it right in the sun. I think I got it. You're so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the Vortex Refractory Mix. Um, babe, can you get a shot of this portal? These are the glue stick air portals that I put in to create a tornado. Can, can you see in it? Mm -hmm. Wow. But it creates those glue sticks when I poured this concrete around it, or cement, and molded it around it was more like cookie dough it uh created perfect vortexes at the right angle and so as that heat comes up and creates a negative pressure up the riser it swirls it around and it just performed awesome my little damper system that i came up with uh worked great and thank you dana collins from army surplus warehouse.com he got me this nice little uh half sphere and on the inside of that, <clears throat> when I screw it out, it just allows air to filter in there. Um, can you see the <clears throat> portal on the inside there, sweetie? Yeah, but man, that portal, look at that. It, it worked and performed just perfectly as well, the refractory mix around it. Anyways, that stuff performed just great too. I was really careful to fire it up and then shut the damper down and let it cool down completely for a while and then fire it up again and I did that over three or four times but finally in the end I ran it just solid for several hours uh, just glowing red hot. You could look down in the chamber and just see right along my refractory mix a, a glowing orange line last night um all the heat that was this part didn't glow because it wasn't insulated 
I wasn't even using an insulated riser yet. And I was just using these fire bricks that have a five and a half or six inch hole in them. Uh, and I just set them on here and stacked them four high just for the test burn. Can you see this, sweetie? This is what I'm talking about, guys. I had these fire bricks. These things are super heavy. They have no insulation value. They weigh 54 pounds a piece. So I had over like 200 pounds sitting on this. It just performed perfectly. And it appears that the refractory mixes held up perfectly.